This is uh, Tom Meyer, superintendent of Bellevue Community Schools with this week's Believe in the Blue update. Uh, kind of a quick version today, but I want to let you know some upcoming events, some things going on. Tomorrow evening, Wednesday, uh, October 28th, the football team will be playing in the first round of high school football plays at Iowa City Regina. That game begins at 7, and once again, it is at Iowa City Regina versus Iowa City Regina. Uh, Iowa City Regina is the number one team in the state, uh, but I'm sure our comments will give a great effort there, and we'll see what happens from there. On uh, on Saturday, our boys and girls uh, team members from cross-country will be participating in the state high school cross-country championships. The entire boys team qualified the other day uh, at Cedar Rapids, uh, and that includes uh, Andrew Meyer, Andrew Sagala, Alex Reed, Eli Witt, um, Gavin Wilkening, Colin Olson, uh, Kyle Gunther, Caleb Kress. So we have several people there who will be uh, participating in that. Uh, and actually, Andrew Meyer and Andrew Sagala qualified individually the other night. Uh, they went 1-2 at the uh, at the state qualifying meet. So that was an excellent finish for both of them. The team finished second there behind Iowa City Regina, coincidentally. Uh, the girls, at the same time, uh, Cameron Ray, who is up for this week's TH High School Athlete of the Week, get on TH online and vote for her. Uh, she's very deserving of that. Uh, but she qualified, finishing a second overall. And then Kaylee Miller finished a fourth overall at the state qualifying meet. Uh, so they will be running there as well. The girls will run at 2 o'clock at Fort Dodge at Lakeside Golf Course. Uh, and the... Uh, uh, so that would be Cameron and Kaylee. Then the entire boys team will run at 2.30 out there as well. So uh, if you get a chance, come out to Fort Dodge. If you haven't been to a state high school cross-country meet, uh, it is an exciting event and something everyone should experience once, if nothing else. Uh, as it is a very fun time to go out there, and our kids have worked very hard in all of our extracurriculars this year. Uh, I know we had some people last week go to All-State Music. They did not qualify for the All-State concert, but... Uh, there's uh, significant competition for a very few, very limited amount of spots. Uh, I think Drew Chapman was one of those trumpet players. Uh, I think they, Mr. Davies told me they had 42 trumpet players or 45 trumpet players, and they took six or seven, something like that. So um, doing some great things. Haley Siebening and Jacob Tillbold tried in vocal music as well, not qualified, but just commend their efforts and their time commitment that it takes just to do something like that. Um, we often hear people who aren't around kids saying, oh, kids just don't work hard. Kids don't know what hard work is. Well, I think you'd be surprised that they know what hard work is. Many of our students do, and they are willing to put in a lot of time to get really good and uh, give out high-quality performances. So congratulations to everyone from football to volleyball to cross country to to we got the musical coming up, and that is on November 7th. They put in a lot of time on that. Um, so getting to some upcoming events, uh, the Shrek the Musical will be on November 6th, 7th, and 8th, and that will begin at 7 o'clock on the 6th and 7th and 1 o'clock on the 8th, which is a Sunday. Uh, also November 6th, we have an early dismissal. That's a three-hour early dismissal for everybody. Uh, there's some teacher professional development there. Uh, November 1st, this upcoming Sunday, I'm kind of hopping around, but November 1st, this upcoming Sunday, with the Halloween parade, uh, the Bellevue Rotary Club uh, puts on our middle school band. Uh, plays in that that way. We also have some judges from the high school and middle school here or the district. Uh, Derek Sturdivant, our music teacher, our musical instructor that way, uh, our musical director is participating in that along with Jeff Raker as judges and there's one other judge that I'm not aware of right now. Um, so just so you're aware of that's going on too. So a lot of things going on. Um, if you get on the school calendar, on the, if you look under events, then River Valley Conference will have a list of other, other events happening here very shortly. Uh, one thing to be aware of, girls, high school girls basketball practice uh, begins on November 9th. High school boys uh, basketball practice begins on November 16th. We already have middle school wrestling and middle school girls basketball going on right now, too. So a lot of things happening here. I want to take just a second to read something here uh, when we talk about hard work and what students are doing and things like that and what employers are saying. Um, um, we talk about grades and the importance or lack of importance or standardized testing and what maybe standardized testing measures, but there's also many things that standardized testing does not measure. The commitment, the hard work, the dedication, and things like that. It can't be measured on a standardized test, at least with the Iowa assessments that we currently use or are required to use. Um, uh, this is a quote here. The movement is in part... A response to calls from employers for the school system to emphasize skills such as creativity and communication, not just knowledge of traditional subjects. 
The move away from grades matches a growing belief among employers that traditional assessment is not the best way to help students develop the skills they need to succeed in today's world. In national and global surveys, employers don't complain about applicants lacking specific knowledge or technical skills, which are easy to test and express in a letter grade. They want employees who can analyze critically, collaborate, collaborate, excuse me, communicate, solve problems, and think creatively. That's what we're trying to um, have all of our students uh, show as they're going through schools here. Like I said, our test scores are going fine overall, but we want to go beyond that. Part of this is problem-based learning and doing some other things. We're really getting students engaged in what they're doing. So I encourage you to have your students think critically at home. Uh, look at what they're doing in school. It should be more than paper, pencil, solving basic problems. It should be much more than that. Um, so anyway, everyone have a great day. Hope to see you either at the football game Wednesday night, the cross-country championships on Saturday at Fort Dodge, or at the, at the Bellevue Halloween Parade Rotary, the, the, the Bellevue Rotary Halloween Parade, and where the judging there is at the Bellevue Elementary. So hope to see you there, and I also hope to see you at the Shrek Musical, November 6th, 7th, and or 8th. Have a great day.